YouTubers, welcome back to Maxwell Stars Beer Reviews here with Heist Almighty and the Sith over here at Sith Manor. We're going to take a look at a beer that I picked up in Guelph, Ontario while visiting the Stonehammer Brewer Brewery. Yes, I was there. If you look at my trip video from Niagara Falls uh, this past, past year. Um, this is Stonehammer Brewing's Continuity Baltic Porter. Uh, what is it? 7.8% uh, ABV, 34% 34 IBUs. I got gas from that Tokyo that we just drank. No, it did have a lot of floaties in it. Oh, yeah. Uh, it says aroma. No, I'm not going to read that. Uh, continuity. The unbroken and consistent existence of George over time. Okay. I imagine that but means they... something. The brewery editor, that's their brewer or something. I didn't really meet any of the brewery, brewery staff while I was there. We were just there, bought some beer, because nobody else was there other than the, the pretty lady that was working the cash. Anyway, so, yeah. Oh. So I hope this is still good. This is one of the beers that traveled home in my suitcase. Actually, no, this is one that I think Albino Rhino mailed me back. But either way, it's one of the beers that I I bought up there that I couldn't bring home. I'm liking the look of the beer. The one thing I don't like, though, is if you're going to have continuity, why would you break it up? Why would you open the bottle? Why would you split it? They broke up the you know, continuity. No, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, I suppose, but also it's split, broken into three pieces. One, con, tin, nudity. Oh, con, tin, nudity. All right, I'm done. Sorry. I was trying to make a three comment, three of us drinking this beer together because Fuzz couldn't make it tonight. All right, so, wow. Um, really rich, dark, a little bit of red coming through it. Very little bit of hue. <laughs> Uh, it's filtered. There's beer in front of it. A little bit, uh... Just because it's worn off doesn't mean you have to quit. Oh, coffee. <laughs> Holy shit, that's a lot of coffee. Oh. Mm. I like coffee, but it's almost like shit, stale coffee. coffee. It's almost like a little bit like stale it's, coffee. It's very stale. It's like the morning after coffee. This is like Tim Hortons and they didn't change their pot fast enough. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking the... The morning after coffee. The morning after coffee, where you left it on your uh, your desk and you sniff it the next day. Yeah. That kind of coffee. Yeah. Wow, that is not good. Or like the regular kind of coffee you get over at Robin's Donuts. I don't drink Robin's. And that's why. You know the kind of coffee you get with little <laughs> donuts, but I don't drink the donuts. I don't, I don't eat the donuts. I don't drink the donuts either. I don't drink the donuts. All right. Oh, the Tokyo. Yeah. Fuck me up. Was it the Tokyo that fucked you? Lord knows. Probably. I was fine. Yeah, it's not bad. A little bit of coffee. A little bit thin. Very stale coffee aftertaste. I don't know if they brewed this with coffee. Uh, it doesn't say anything about that. Just Baltic porter. But it's really rich and roasty and tastes like maybe a little stale coffee. It's pretty much right about on for a porter, though. Yeah. Well, a Baltic porter... It, does kind of have that little bit of a clean finish. Uh, Baltic log porters are supposed to be loggers. Yeah, they're a logger. They're kind of like the Baltic states, like Latvia and stuff like that. Their interpretation of the British porter style, and they end up coming out as a little bit stronger, darker, and uh, lagerier. Th lo yeah, lager because they're brewed with lager yeast. But they're generally pretty good. Like Garrison's Baltic porter is pretty good. Trois Musketeers really is delicious. This is not bad. Um, it's not my favorite Baltic Porter, but I gotta say it's it's definitely drinkable. It's highly and, drinkable. Yeah, the coffee isn't as stale in the taste. It is awfully no, no, stale. No, no, we're no. I gotta get rid of us. Drink some. Mm, drink some. I'm doing my part. You almost get that little bit of like a like that tannic, you know, the tart tartness around the rim of the tongue. Could be from the coffee. Um. I can say I like it. I'm not super fancy about it. I give that a three and a half. Excuse me. I'm gonna say three and a quarter. Three and a quarter? Yeah. Sean's gonna I like it, but I don't love it. He has to go for another sip before he's decide. The coffee on that is mm -hmm. something's off about that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's my issue is that it's got an off flavor for the coffee, so I'd give it a three. Nine. I'd give Nine. it a three because a three? Yeah. I'm, I'm not I'm not jiving with whatever flavor coffee they've got in hmm. there. 
Well, for one, I don't even know if they even used real coffee in this, but no, at the same time, it almost tastes like they did. It, it tastes to me like there's something about, there's some sort of coffee in there. Hmm. But it tastes like, you know, you want to test the co the cold coffee that's been sitting there all night. Yeah. Well, that's true. It kind of is that. Well, so to me, it tastes like instead of using coffee beans or something like that to in their production, they brewed some coffee and dumped a brew of coffee in there instead of water. At the same time, the bottle's six months old. Yeah. So it could be that the bottle state coffee's just gotten a little stale. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. True. Anyway, um, not bad. It's not bad. No, I, I, it's definitely something to try. I drink it again. Maybe I should have had a little sparkler, but it's hard to get these guys out drinking. You're looking, at, you're looking at me. <laughs> anyway, uh, thanks for watching Maxwell Stars Beer Reviews of Stonehammer's Continuity Baltic Porter. You can try it if you see it. It'll do. It'll, that'll do, pig. That'll do. Maybe try a little fresher. Good luck. He looks later. Cheers.